first we are going to show you how to make a custom panel widget with a double border. To start, we're going to drag down our column divider so we can get our custom panel widget just the right size. I'm going to drag this over, add a little bit of margin. And then we're going to go ahead and drag our custom panel widget. For this, we don't want a gradient. So we're going to go ahead and click the upper right hand corner. We're going to change the background to this gray shade that we thought would work well with our site. We're going to change the border down to nothing. Take off the corners. Take off the padding, but keep just a little bit of margin. Finally, we're going to remove the overriding fonts and hit save. Next, we're going to repeat the same process, but we're going to have a white background. It's very hard. Changing this to white, removing the border, taking off the corners, removing the padding, and keeping a two pixel margin. We're going to go ahead and take off those overriding fonts and hit save. We're going to do the same process again because we want a double border. Go back to that nice dark gray that we have. Removing the borders and corners. Removing the padding. Keeping a little bit of margin. And again, removing the font overrides. And finally, we have our last custom panel widget. Dragging and dropping. We're going to change it back to that white. Remove the border. Remove the corners. Remove the padding. And again, leave just a little bit of margin. Hit save. And here we are. So right now it doesn't look like it has our two pixel margin that we were looking for. To give you a nice demonstration, we're gonna drag and drop some text into here. Let's go ahead and hit preview, and check out our new border. Here it is. 